I want to remind everyone as we're like delighting in the fact that Justin Jones has been reinstated to the Tennessee legislature that it's easy to get distracted from what that whole conflict was about, which is gun violence. And the fact that the right doesn't want to do anything about it, despite the fact that it is a serious issue that a lot of people take very seriously, especially especially young people. And I want to talk about some of the stats that have been released by this new Kaiser Family Foundation study as to why people might be so stressed about guns. Did you know that nearly one in five American adults say they've had a family member who was killed by a gun, including suicides? That is amazing. Like of all of the things to unify one out of five families, a tragedy like that should not be the thing. Roughly 20, 21% said that they have personally been threatened by a gun in their life. A horrifying experience I wouldn't wish on anyone. One in five people have had that experience. And by the way, not equally distributed, you'll be shocked to find out. People of color were more likely to report witnessing gun violence or having family members who were killed by guns. More than one third of black adults said that they had a family member who was killed by a gun compared with 17% of white respondents and 18% of Hispanic adults who participated in the study. And then like all of that is amazing. But here is, I think, the standout stat from this. Three in 10 black adults and one in five Hispanic adults say that they have personally witnessed someone being shot. And so maybe it's easy for a Republican who's probably getting donations from the NRA anyway and doesn't have any personal experience with this topic to say this isn't something that needs to be addressed. But for a lot of people, this is a highly personal topic. And so you can see why people were so furious when the Tennessee Tennessee three were ejected or in Gloria Johnson's case, almost ejected when they're advocating for something that a lot of people see is so important. Conscious, what do you think? Man, the gun conversation is so racial in this country that the same white gun enthusiasts that feel like every American that's naturalized in this country should have a right to bear arms is the same second amendment enthusiasts that feel like black people should be murdered on site for being armed. I think that there was a lot of hypocrisy that we seen when John Morant became the John Morant, the NBA basketball player that showed a gun in a nightclub. We recognized, to me, the, uh, the, the, the hypocrisy. The NRA usually comes out and defends all legal gun right owners, but they ain't come out and say nothing about John Morant the same way they ain't do about any black person that was legally owning the gun and being murdered. So for me, it's just really thinking about how my black body is always already seen as seen as fear. Once you start thinking about firearms, the same firearm that's able to view them other people to be patriotic, symbolic, and that's the most American thing they can do. So to end it, you see what I'm saying? I just really think about how they say, if you don't want to, Race hates them to go away, stop talking about it. I don't find yeah. that same thing when it comes to gun violence or how they feel about abortions. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 again like I, I feel like so much of our politics, I try to stress constantly in our show the asymmetry in our politics. Cause I feel like the if you just learned about politics growing up from like the mainstream media, you'd think that there's the Democrats, and there's the Republicans, there's conservatives and they're liberals, and they disagree on things, but largely a lot of stuff is the same. No, like it is not the same. The media is not the same. The funding is not the same. The experience, the connection to these topics, to these issues is not the same. It can be very unequal. It can be people who have had no experience in their life or the people they know with say minimum wage deciding that no, minimum wage doesn't need to be raised for 20, 30 years. That is not the same thing as the people who are actually experiencing it and you can I mean, you can run through topics of environmental justice, gun violence, healthcare outcomes, the ability to retire with dignity, the ability to attend higher education, um, all of that. These are not equal, like the attachment that our political elites have is not equal to the experience of regular people. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.